What's up guys, Austin Numa here today coming at you with yet another Adobe Premiere CC 2017 tutorial and today we're going to be covering nesting inside Adobe Premiere Pro and why is it important to you as an editor. We're going to go ahead and cover that topic very quickly in this tutorial but before we do if you're not already subscribed to this channel hit that subscribe button with post notifications on. So I'm inside Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017. I've got my clips on my timeline and what I use nesting for in particular and you may have seen in a lot of my videos and tutorials I'll use nesting nesting all the time to do some RGB splits. If I want to save some room and I don't want to stack a bunch of clips on top of clips, I can easily just nest some clips and achieve this. Select all the clips you want to nest, right click, and then you're going to go up to nest. What nesting does essentially is creates an entirely new sequence inside this other sequence that we have. So it's kind of like sequence inception. But what we're going to do is we're going to name this something else. Like let's just call this RGB split because that's what I'm going to do to this clip. I'm going to hit OK. So now you can see all of the clips have been nested inside this sequence. Now if I double click on this green clip here, it's going to open up that sequence. And now we can edit these clips individually. Here we are inside the RGB split sequence. We want to go back to the other one. We just click this other one that we already we're in. So we're going to go back to our main sequence here and now I'm going to perform an RGB split. Since all of these clips are laid out in one nice clip, I can easily split this no problem. So I'll hold down Alt, click and drag up to duplicate it and I'll do one more. Now I'm going to go over to my effects and I'm going to apply my RGB split preset that I've created. So now I'm going to offset these clips a little bit just to really show the RGB split. So I'll just kind of scale this up a little bit. Maybe I'll take this one and scale it up and then move the position a little bit. So now I've RGB split all of these clips all at once and now I've only have these three clips to manage. If I wanted to add more to it, then I could simply go back in here, add some to the sequence. Like let's say I wanted to hold down Alt and drag to duplicate this one. Now we're gonna go back in and now you can extend these out. You're only gonna be able to extend these out as long as these sequences are on the inside. So for example, if I took this out right here, then you're gonna see this little blank spot. When I bring it back to it, I'm not going to be able to bring it out anymore unless I add this clip again to the end here. So let's say I don't want to add an RGB split to this, but rather I would just want to apply an effect to this so that everything kind of ends at the same time. And this can be effective if I maybe had some text on top of this. So let's go in here and let's just type in some text. So I'm going to put my text on the last clip here, and I know this doesn't look all that good, but uh, this is just kind of a basic design. So if I want to fade this entire clip out at the same time, and I used to have to go to the text, and I used to have to go up to the effect controls and just apply a crossfade, or maybe just set the opacity at 100 and go to the end of the clip and then set it to zero. But now you can do it on one clip, so everything will fade out at the same time, which is really handy. So I think you're going to find nesting very helpful for all of you editors out there working in whatever capacity you are in. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one with post notifications on. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.